big salute to all of my veterans out there, man. Big shout out to all of my subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you. Got my son out here, man. We out here at the arena right now. The hand phone. My son out here playing with ice right now. We out here at the arena. Waiting for one of my friends to show up. I got Wes over here. If y'all remember Wes, big shout out to Wes right now, man. He's still up here hanging out working at the marina. Operating a forklift, like you said. Putting them boats in out here working. Oh, man. We got boats out there, man. I can't wait to get out there, man. So I'm waiting for one of my friends right now who was in the military with me. One minute. So I'm waiting for one of my friends right now that was in the military with me. So I'm about to take him and his son out on the boat with me. Catch y'all in a minute. Hank Money, you like uh, an hour and 20 minutes late, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Out here on the boat right now, man. Got my homeboy back here with me. Hank Money. Man, I met Hank back in 2005. I think it was the end of 2005. Early 2006, I'm an aircraft, well, I was an aircraft mechanic in the Navy. My homeboy Hank is an aircraft mechanic too, man. So we go back since, that to be 2005 when we went to Washington, early 2006. When I went to Washington, was 2005. 2005, so that's when I met him. So, yep, 2005, that's when I went into the Navy. Watch out for me, son, real quick. Watch out, get up real quick. Watch out. Out here, we out here both, man. Got EJ over there. What's going on with you, EJ? We out here enjoying the heat. Boy, it's a beautiful day out here. I'm gonna tell you guys real quick the importance of you dispatchers out there, especially you guys who aspire to become dispatchers and start your own dispatching company or for you owner no, operators. Me, where you at? This the many move. Yeah, this is how many move. Yeah, this the many move. Yeah, this is how many move. Yeah, this Trucks, trucks, broke it and get bucks. I do this pulling up, giving knowledge, that's what's up. Yeah. This the many move, yeah. This is how many move, yeah. This the many move, yeah. This is how many move, yeah. This patching trucks, trucks, broke it and get bucks. I do this pulling up, giving knowledge, that's what's up. Hot shot stay, ready to book a load. Many movement trucks seen all over the road. CEO, pick me, execute, and be obsessed. Running miles every day, keep me free of stress. Travel in your own lane, there isn't any traffic. Moving quick. My homeboy back here, Hank Money, about to retire, man. After less than a year, man, he about to retire. Got my son, he driving. Hank about to retire in less than a year, man. I met this joker back here in 2005. Man, that's crazy. 2005. He pulled, he pulled up to the school. Daddy, that that no, you weren't born. Here, stay on. Get over here. Stay right there. Keep it right there for me. Yep. Anyway, man, Hank was going to, uh, I was going to A school, and he came from Guam. Guam, right? Yeah, Guam. Yeah, Guam. And um, he came from Guam, started C school. So in the military, you got A school, C school. C school is the more advanced school. I just came into the Navy. So I was an aircraft mechanic, and like I said, and he's still an AD right now, which is an aircraft mechanic. And he came to C school in the Crown Vic. With some dubs, what you had, a dubs or the 22? At the time. Yeah, he had dubs on it at the time. And uh, 212s or whatever. 212. Yep, 212s in the trunk. And pretty much, man, we connected. He didn't want to kick it with me at first, man. He used to try to, he used to, try to play me like I was a square or something. Because I was a square, man. I remember just having a big fat mustache. And 
no hair on my face. I ain't had no chicks at the time, and um, I ain't had no confidence, man. So, big salute to my homeboy back here, man. He helped me build my confidence, though. You know, something about Hank, man. That's why we still rock. You know, right now, man. He's stationed down in Florida right now, too. About to retire. And the best thing is, we both gonna retire before the age of 40. You know, that's how I feel right now. You know, being a businessman, making my own money. Once you start making your own money out here, that's part of being retired. Just as long as you can keep going. And he about to retire. He gonna retire at 38, 39 years old, right? 38. At 38 years old, 20 years in the military, came in at 18, you know? So man, it ain't nothing like it. He came into the trucking industry and pretty much that's what he about to do again, you know? About to go ahead and probably one day maybe get him a semi truck. He started out with the hot shots like me. But he's just an all around business owner and entrepreneur anyway. Then made hundreds of thousands of dollars off of real estate, you know, too. And that's a pure fact out here, man. Daddy, ready to so, man, big salute to my homeboy Hank out here, man. He brought his son, got my son with me. Daddy, Let's get it. Ready. Boy Hank out oh, here driving it, driving the boat. Hank from Arkansas. This is my first time. Yeah, fir this your first time driving the boat? Yeah. Oh shit. Well, time. let's get it then. Let's get it. Hank from Arkansas, from Russellville. Ain't that where you from? Yeah. His hood. What was your hood? JP. JP. JPU. JPU. Yeah, yeah. What that mean? James Park University. James uh, Park University. Pretty much a street that, you know, Independence Avenue was the street that, that all pretty much black people in my town stayed on. All right. And then uh, JP was the park that everybody would congregate every day after school or whatever it was. All right. Days and stuff like that, you know, so we all we all grew up at James Park pretty much because every day he was out there. It would go. So he, he ain't repping that street life no more, though, no, but no, no, no. that's what it's about, though. You that's know, you got to know, yeah, you got to know where you come from. But he used to rap it so hard because he got a tat somewhere. I got a couple of them. Up where? There you go, Southern made. It was one that you had, JP. 
you on it. Didn't you, didn't yeah. you have it on you somewhere? Yeah. JP, right? Oh, yeah, there you yeah. go. We are not promoting game banging right now. We just promoting where you're from. And this is where you could go. Right here. I ain't about to retire at 38 years old, man. Most people out here ain't gonna retire till they about 65. He about to get a full 100% retirement check too. And he's going for a little bit of that disability. That should be 100%. Oh yeah. Every, every service member should be getting some type of disability out here. It should be five G's as I wake up. Oh yeah, five G's, him just waking up every month. Man, motivation. What's up, son? What's good with you? Everybody chilling? <clears throat> Got my little homeboy EJ eating some pineapple out here. Man, it ain't nothing like him having this son with him. I'm out here with my son, linking them up together. EJ, how old are you? Nine, fourth grade, right? All right. What about you, Landon? How old are you? What grade you in? First grade. Yes, sir. So we out here enjoying it. Beautiful Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. Two. You want some pineapples? There you go. Sharing is caring. Hank Money, you getting too close. You getting too close over to your right limit. I need you to bring it back in the middle. Bring it back in the middle for me. It's his first time. Oh, yeah, we good. We, we need to get under that bridge. Uncle Fresh on that jet ski. Oh, that's a... Yeah, see, that's a jet ski, you see? Uncle Fresh, that? Huh? Who's that? My brother. So he called him Uncle Fresh. Because that's what people call my brother. They call my brother Fresh. Cause our last name Manny, Dad. and the big in that in the hold up son, the producer, the producer named Manny Fresh with Cash Money. Well, he used to be with Cash Money. So when we was growing up, people used to call us Manny Fresh, cause Manny Fresh was real big when I was growing up. Dad. What's up? I think Uncle Fresh at work doing something that he ain't at work today. I just talked to him while we've been out here on the boat. Uh, he was about to go get his hair cut. That's what he was about to do. Uncle Fresh don't cut his own hair. He still go to the barber shop. EJ, you need a cut? You need me to line you up or something? I got you. Daddy, Daddy, I want I'm pretty him. cool with Daddy, the clippers. Daddy, I want him to come out our house. Yeah, he's gonna come by. Maybe not today. They gotta get back home and we gotta get back home. But Hank Money, Hank Money know what it is. Out here, get it. Uh-uh, nah, you need the arrow to go on that purple purple line. Bring it back over in the middle a little bit. It's a purple dotted line. You see it? You see it? But just, just stay just stay like between his bridge. Like the, the pillars up there. As long as you stay right here we'll be straight. Just drive it like a car right now. So just imagine we uh just on the street. Just want to stay away from this guy, but you want to go under this bridge, though. Feel me? Yes. Oh, yeah. Stay away from him. I'm eating 
don't want to be this Still in a no wake right now. That's to say 25 miles or something, right? Not right now. We in a no wake zone right what now. Mean? It means you can't make no V's with your engine. It gotta be just like this. For all day. Nope. Just until we get past the bridges. Why do they do that? Because like I say, uh, a lot of the uh sea life mm -hmm. like the live around pylons and bridges oh, so they want you, to hit you know because they go down in the water yeah. a lot of fish like to hang around in pylons yeah. manatees and stuff like oh, that yeah, so you they can't hit manatees yeah, so, so they, much manatees that are dying yep so they want you to go real slow around bridges it's even hard for zoos to get them to get manatees yeah mm -hmm. i remember when i seen the manatee that thing scared me because I just seen like the top of it come out. Thing was big. All right, Hank Money, straighten it out for me. Straighten it out. That's big. Dad, I yeah, want to travel you. Huh? I said, I want to travel you. Nah, man, you already drove. Me and my dad saw a great white shark. Remember you seen a great white shark? Um, we're at, um. Yeah, where was y'all yeah, at? Gatling Bird. Gatling Bird? Uh -huh, we went to the. Aquarium, and yeah, we saw a lot of sharks. Oh, yeah? They were big. Oh, yeah. Well, I seen them at like them. I thought you talking about actually then went out and seen them in the water. Oh. Yeah, I seen them at the aquarium. Oh, we gotta pass through there? Yeah, we gotta go to this bridge. Yeah, stay to your left, Hank Money. Bring it back, Hank Money. Bring it back. Bring it back real quick, folks. Before we mess run off into the, the shallow. Gonna mess up the pineapple okay, bring it back to your left. I'm a clown. Why I'm a clown? You always be clown. Oh man, come on now. Hey, you seen that video? What video? Kid talking to daddy like that. Uh uh. Oh, my son a clown. No, you're a little clown. No, you a clown. No, you're a little clown. Oh. Hit me on my stomach. Did your hand? Do you hurt your hand? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised you too fat. If I didn't hit my dad that hard, <laughs> Hank would go stop, down. Stop. Hank would go down, huh? <laughs> won't go down too. Man, we made it back. Yes, sir. Like I say, got my homeboy, man. Got his son. Got my son with me. We went out. EJ, how you like the boat ride? EJ, how you like the boat ride? <laughs> How you like the boat ride? You like it? You ain't like it? Huh? Oh, you like it? I appreciate it, man. I know, man. I'm, my back hurt now. Son, how you like it? You like it? Yeah. You like it, Hank Money? Yeah, what's up? Hank Money said he about to go buy him a boat now. So, we gonna get out here, man. So, we gonna end this vlog, man. 
commit, execute, and be obsessed. Commit, execute, Everybody be great out there. Everybody be great out there.